Hey everybody, this is Larelia, and today I wanted to do a uh, video on the intro to blogging for solopreneurs. I decided to do this video um, strictly for solopreneurs, basically people who were uh, solo professionals, coaches, consultants, service-based professionals. And the reason why I decided to do this video um, is because when I got started blogging online, um, I really didn't have a roadmap on how to start. So uh, before I go into why you should blog and the introduction to blogging, kind of want to share my story to tell you um, where I was at and where I am now um, during the time of me making this video in 2014. So um, why blogging? Um, I personally believe that um, blogging as for business purposes um, because once again, remember, I'm speaking to solopreneurs, so that's people who are in business. Um, it's a great tool to not only to market, but beyond that, to basically position yourself, um, to give your own self a stage. And the reason why I say that is because I think we live in the best time in history where we no longer have to wait for someone um, to uh, pull us along. Uh, we can pretty much uh, state our claim um, right here on the internet um, in, with e in whatever area of expertise that you have. And I really believe that we are now in the age of uh, intellectual capital. And what I mean is that pretty much um, people will pay you for the value that you provide in the marketplace. Now, although that's not nothing new, but I think now more than ever is a great time to basically be able to show your value with others. And I think blogging um, is a great tool uh, to help you to do that. So fast forward. Um, like I said, in 2009, um, I found myself in a place where um, my business was struggling and um, I was not equipped with marketing. Um, really thought marketing was just basically, uh, you know, you do some, you know, paper advertising or uh, advertising maybe um, in some type of trade journal and that was the extent of marketing. Well, lo and behold, I found that not to be <laughs> the case. Uh, so I was doing a lot of networking. And during that time, um, I was with a, um, a, a women's group. And one of the ladies who was, I guess, the person who was in charge of the group um, was explaining to us the importance of blogging. Um, and so... Um, she just kept saying, you know, you have to blog, you know, you, you need, if you're in business, you need to be blogging. And, you know, it could have been the way that I um, understood the information, but I, I just didn't, I wasn't able to bridge together why I should be blogging and how it could help my business because she was pretty much, you know, um, uh, putting us up to the challenge to start a blog. And at that time, I was doing nothing. Um, I was doing strictly taxes and financial services. So I just really, I, I and I was reading blogs at that time. But most of the blogs that I was reading was basically someone's experience. It was almost like a personal diary. And I just couldn't bridge how business would tie over to blogging. Because I'm like, okay, the blogs I read are all personal diaries. Um, you know, it's almost like a person's, you know, a personal autobiography online. So I couldn't bridge the two together. Um, and so, but I was up for the challenge and I did it. And I remember, you know, and, and this is so funny, if I look at the evolution of where I started 2009 and where I'm at now, um, at that time I wasn't even using WordPress and I wasn't even using Blogger. At that time, GoDaddy had some type of blogging service. They may still have it. I don't know it was called Blogcast. And so I was already, um, I already had a website. And I, I had a website for 2000, since 2003. But it was, it was really an online business card. You know, I didn't understand, you know, how to get traffic to it. It was just basically, there's a stamp of approval for myself to show people, hey, you know, look at me, I got a website. So I end up incorporating the blogcast into my blog, and I got started blogging. Well, you know, lo and behold, that's where the journey began. Um, and 
like I said, I was just blogging. I had no structure, um, didn't understand, you know, anything technical like SEO or um, uh, permalinks or meta tags or, you, you know, or, ta- you know, talking to my target audience. I was just blogging. All right, so how does all that bridge over to what I'm talking now about now? Well, um, as I mentioned, the purpose of why I think all solopreneurs should blog, um, it is a great way for you to show your value. And the thing with solopreneurs and service-based professionals is that the work that we do is intangible. People cannot see it. And, you know, it's real easy to put up credentials and say, hey, I graduated from this school. I got this certification. I got." But the person who um, may be looking for what you have online really don't know. And so the blog gives you um, the um, platform to really show what it is that you have. Because remember, we're in an intangible business. It's not like um, you're selling a product where people are like, oh, okay, yeah, I like the size of that. Yeah, it's this big. And, you know, it's going to be packaged to me like this. So when you're in the business of selling intangible services, and that would be what solopreneurs usually do. Like I said, I was selling tax and financial services, um, the blog helps you to, um, to show your expertise to others. What is going to, um, differentiate a person who is charging, uh, $75 for individual tax return versus someone who charges $1,500? Now, you may be thinking, oh, well, yeah, you know, that's easy to say. That person may be a CPA or this, that, and the other. But a lot of times that doesn't have to be the case. I mean, there are a lot of people who have um, positioned themselves online, um, whereas they can demand um, the, the dollar that they want due to positioning. So, so that is what I want to leave you with. This is the intro video of why you want to blog. You want to blog because you want to be able to display your intellectual capital. You know, what you can provide to the marketplace, what value do you have. Um, and, and a blog gives you that opportunity. Now, if you want to know the technical ways of doing it, this video doesn't talk about that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a link somewhere on the video. And it's going to link you on how you can get started with blogging. Um, you know, I did a video on how to incorporate um, hosting with WordPress and why, you you know, WordPress is, is a, a platform that you should do. So I'm going to leave it on that. Now, I am looking down. So um, I believe those are the main points of why you want to get started with blogging. Um, and so I'm going to be doing at least five videos on this topic, intro to blogging. Uh, this right now is just basically why you want to start because you want to be able uh, to share your value with those online. And a blog gives you uh, that opportunity. So again, this is Lorelia. Um, if this video has been of any help, please like it. Uh, share it um, to other people who may be in the solopreneur space, um, who may still be on the fence of you know why they should blog and, um, and how they should get started. So once again, this is Lorelia, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.